Welcome. My name is Dr. Keiro J.M., an obstetrician and gynecologist, a fistula surgeon working in Western's Medical Center. Today, we'll have a look at miscarriages. If a pregnancy ends before the 24th week, it is known as a miscarriage. Miscarriages are quite common in the first three months of pregnancy and allowed one in five confirmed pregnancies ends this way. Many early miscarriages happen because there is something wrong with the baby, such as a chromosomal abnormality. There can be other causes of miscarriage, such as medical problems. A later miscarriage may be due to an infection, a poorly developed placenta, or a weak cervix that opens too early in the pregnancy. So what are the symptoms of miscarriage? A miscarriage in the first few weeks can start like a period with spotting or bleeding and a mild clump or backache. This can progress to heavy bleeding with blood clots and quite severe clumping pains. With a later miscarriage, you may go through an early labor. If you breathe or begin to have pains at any stage of pregnancy, kindly contact us or your nearest health facility for assessment. If you are more than six weeks pregnant, we will conduct an ultrasound scan to see if your baby has a heartbeat. Sometimes the bleeding stops by itself and your pregnancy will carry on quite normally. Some women find out their baby has died only when they have a routine scan. If they have had no pain or bleeding, this can come as a terrible shock, especially if the scan shows that the baby died days or weeks before. This is called a missed miscarriage or a silent miscarriage. Some women find out <coughs> at a routine scan that they have a molar pregnancy, which means that the pregnancy has not been successful and the baby will not develop. This is not the same as a miscarriage. Surgery is needed to remove the molar pregnancy and careful follow-up is required to ensure all the pregnancy has been removed. There are three ways a miscarriage can be managed. The first one is washing and waiting. This involves waiting for a few days for the products of pregnancy to be passed naturally. The second method is to use pills to empty the womb. The third method is to conduct surgery to empty the womb. This involves emptying the womb by an operation. This is usually done under general anesthesia but some units also offer surgical evacuation and a local anesthesia. The procedure involves gently opening the cervix and removing the products of conception by sanction. Remember, there are benefits and lists of each option that you, sh that you sh should consider when making your decision. If you have surgery, any bleeding or pain you are experiencing because of your miscarriage should quickly improve. However, all surgical procedures carry their own risks. Medicines avoid the need for surgery, but can cause increased pain and bleeding. Waiting for the tissues to pass naturally <coughs> avoids taking medication or having surgery, but can take several weeks. <coughs> It is also possible that not all of the tissues will be passed and that you will later require surgery. We will be able to guide you with the options during miscarriage. We will also advise you on your fertility after a miscarriage. One early miscarriage is unlikely to affect your chances of having a baby 
in the future. <coughs> if you have three or more early miscarriages in a lobe, we will conduct further investigations. However, sometimes no clear cause can be found. Both women and men can find it difficult to come to terms with a miscarriage at any stage. You will almost certainly feel a sense of loss. You will need time to grieve over the lost baby. You may feel shocked, distressed, angry or just numb. You may feel guilty, wondering whether your miscarriage was caused by anything you did or did not do. It is important to know that whatever the cause, miscarriage is never anyone's fault. If a miscarriage is going to happen, there is very little that anyone can do to stop it. Thank you. Kindly do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter or visit our website and our blog to book appointments. Thank you.